Hello everyone and welcome to this channel for this very first X4 video which is uh, quite exciting <laughs> because I've never made a, a proper X4 video but why not here we are guys and we are at a trade station here in Argon space and why are we going to do this here that's because I want to show you guys something that I've been wondering for quite some time because I've never seen any proper guys for this how to make NPCs fly for you and you can see here I've got a trade ship with a, um, a pilot here let's have a look at the crew to see the specificities of the pilot and you can see that my pilot doesn't have uh, two stars yet but almost almost two stars but a little bit like one star and three quarters in terms of piloting skills and you can see it cannot auto trade it cannot distribute wares now you don't need to have auto trade to get npcs to do trade for you distribute wares also work it's just that it is not as effective as auto trading so for that we are going to go to the traders corner at any any station most stations do have a traders corner Hello here there, yes so you're going to show there me the go. wares and here at the wares you're going to have to look for piloting seminar here uh, for one star crew because you can see that my pilot my pilot had less than two stars so it is still inside the one star category and so that is going to be perfect because it is going to be very close to three stars once I give that pilot that seminar so let's go back you don't have to go back towards the ship but I'll do it anyway because uh, this is a brand new ship by the way that I just bought so let's go if I see if I can and there's a bug right now when you buy a new ship uh, especially a new trader you can't go into the cockpit for some reason I don't know why but anyway we don't need to we don't need to so we're going to select the ship here uh, quasar no the quasar is the starfighter that I am piloting so that is not uh, the right one here let's go back to properties own and it should not have a name so it should be called mercury vanguard there we go right because that's what i bought so uh, we are going to change its name i usually try to like i usually like to have names related to business since these are merchant ships i've got ships like you know high stakes uh confirmation uh profit you know that these are the names that i like to give to my trade ships because these are going to be my money maker so maybe we're going to call this one return on investment that sounds like a good name for a trader ship and we're going to select our pilot so once again can uh, we can use a call here and we'll give the pilot seminar and now we are going to see that my pilot is much more advanced than what it used to be uh, before so to confirm that we'll go to the crew here and you can see now it has two stars and a half it used to have one star and three quarters now two stars and a half so let's go to behaviors and you can see in behaviors that it can have distribute wear make sure you select everything press on ok and don't forget to confirm after that once all right so once it is done they are not going to uh, take off and distribute wares just yet unfortunately so you are going to have sorry the the sound quality is getting a little bit bad here uh you are going to have to give them a uh, a random assignment right so let's select the ship there's the bountiful here the bountiful doesn't have distribute where i just need to tell it to maybe sell some food rations uh, over there that should be all right okay confirm and something i need to do with that other ship as well and next we are going to select the uh, I forgot the name again the return on investment yes so let's select the return on investment and we are going to tell it to uh, come on come on come on it cannot take off just want to make sure right that if we are giving distribute wares and again everything it still has no cargo hole inside it is that's that's the thing right with auto training they know what to do if you have distribute wares they still don't really know what to do they still need a little bit of guidance which is what you are seeing here so that's a little bit annoying but at least as they are flying as they will be flying in the future they are going to get more experience they are going to get better at management as well they're going to get better at flying and very slowly but surely they are going to level up so i'm looking for a place here i'm in argon space 
In Argon Space, they have places where we can buy some interesting technology. We can also buy uh, silicon wafers, maybe. Well, let's buy some silicon wafers. There's always a demand for silicon wafers. All right, confirm. And now you can see the ship is taking off. There we go. So sh the pilot here is going to go to that station. She will buy the, sil the, the silicon wafers. And then she will be distributing the silicon wafers all over the X4 universe. And that's pretty much it. Now this is an extra ship that is in my fleet. You could hear uh, from time to time uh, that there was a, a little noise that like that a little bit. Uh, this is basically the indicator that tells me when one of my ship has completed a trade and is making me make some money. So that's pretty much it for this guide here. How to make NPCs trade for you. It took me a while. Uh, the, I'm about uh, how, how much time have I played in X4? I've played about 70 hours. It took me about 20 to 30 hours to figure this out by myself because I couldn't find any guide that properly helped me. So I hope that this guide did help you and that you'll be able to make tons of money in the X4 universe. Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you want more of this type of content, if you like X, the X universe and you want to discover a little bit more X4, please let me know so that I can make more videos of X4 as well. Thanks, th thanks to you very much for watching once more. This is the Eradicator and I'll see you guys later.